Exercise 12. At the end of May, the sales journal of Riverview appears as follows, and we see each of the accounts debited, the amount of the sale, and the cost of goods sold. Riverview also recorded the return of defective merchandise with the following entry, debiting sales returns and allowances, and crediting the customer's account receivable. We're asked to open an accounts receivable subsidiary ledger that has a T account for each customer listed in the sales journal and post to the customer accounts, the entries in the sales journal, and any portion of the general journal that affects a customer's account. The first customer is Aaron Reckers. On May 6th, Aaron is billed $3,800. We see the debit to accounts receivable in the sales journal. On May 10th, Sarah Reed is billed for $2,860. May 17th, Anna Page is billed for $1,273. On May 20th, Anna Page returns $250 of defective merchandise. This credits her account receivable for $250. May 25th, Sarah Reed is billed for $509. Requirement 2 asks us to open a general ledger that has T accounts for accounts receivable, inventory, sales, sales returns and allowances, and cost of goods sold, and post the information from the sales journal and the general journal. The first column of the sales journal is a debit to accounts receivable and a credit to sales. The total debit to accounts receivable is 8442 and we credit sales for the same amount. The sales journal also records the cost of goods sold. The journal entry at the end of the month is a debit to cost of goods sold, the inventory expense account, and a credit to inventory. The general journal also records a debit to sales returns and allowances for $250 and a credit to accounts receivable. Requirement 3 asks us to prepare a schedule of accounts receivable and prove that its total equals the balance in the accounts receivable controlling account. Here are the T accounts we prepared for our individual customers. As of May 31st, the balance in Wrecker's account is $3,800. Sarah Reed has a balance of $3,369. Anna Page has a balance of $1,023 after the return. An accounts receivable was debited for $8,442 and credited for $250. The balance on May 31st is a debit balance of 8192 To prepare a schedule of accounts receivable, we include each customer's ending balance. These accounts are listed in alphabetical order. Anna Page has a balance of 1023 Sarah Reed, 3369 and Aaron Reckers, $3,800. The total of these three accounts is 8192 the total debits to accounts receivable were 8442 and credits of 250 the balance of may 31st is 8192 accounts receivable is in fact a control account its balance should always equal the total of our customers receivables